everybody, and welcome to Original Understudies, where we've gathered the most original understudies to do some improvised comedy for you. Boy, do we have a cast for you today. My name is Landon. I'm guest hosting today. Everybody, hold on. James Heaney is on assignment. He's hey, deep wait in the jungle. Oh, we no. don't have guest hosts here, Landon. You're just the host. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh leave it gosh. to leave it to James Heaney <laughs> to bust in with my uh, with my hilarious thing. Uh, okay, that's right. I'm your host, Landon, and here I am, and I've gathered some incredible original understudies today. We've got Jen Parker coming Hello. in. Jen, hi. How are you? Where can people find you online? Uh, they can technically find me online on any social media, Jen Parker Comedy, but I will not be checking any of it. Instead, check out the book I wrote called A Meh Life Crisis uh, on Amazon. Oh, I love that. What's the book about? It's about uh, three women in their late 30s who aren't doing shit with their lives and then they decide <laughs> to get it together and do things. Wow, that's that's <laughs> inspiring. Uh, well, thank you, Jen, and thank you for being here. Uh, also with us today, Max Crandall. Now, Max, hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Landon? I'm okay, buddy. Uh, where hey. can people find you online? You can find me on Instagram at Uncle Crandy. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know that you're an influencer and you post all kinds of cool stuff. <laughs> like, what would you say your flavor of Instagram is, Max? Um, uh, Grandpa Chic. <laughs> Perfect. We all we all love Grandpa Chic. Oh, hey. Also here, Amy Burry. Hi, Amy. Oh, hello. Oh no, we can't hear Amy. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. There's oh, there, no. Amy. No, Amy, 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 I can hear you. I can hear you. You're there. No, you're fine. I don't know okay. what I don't know what happened. It was like you were mouthing and then I just couldn't I couldn't hear anything. Gotcha. No, I, I didn't. I was not pulling any pranks. That's not like me. Uh, that was definitely a technical error. Uh, where can people see you pull pranks online? Amy? Oh, gosh. Well, I just uh, posted my first TikToks. Um, <laughs> Amy Burry one on TikTok and also on Twitter. And then uh, Instagram, it's Burry0007. Um, you know, I'm on there sometimes. I'm liking yeah. stuff. Bot-like behavior. That's... You know, I think that's great. What a call to action. Nah, I'm on there sometimes. <laughs> I think that's good. Uh, also joining us, Johnny Cruz. Hey, Johnny Cruz, how are you? Very good. Glad to be here. Now, Johnny, where can people locate your wonderfulness? www.aol.johnnycruz.4.org <laughs> okay. or dot four. Dot four. The number four. The oh, number four. Yeah. Yeah. The number four. Um, you had to pay a lot for that uh, <laughs> top domain. So I think that that's pretty good. Uh, Johnny, I'm so glad that you're here. I'm also really glad to see Miranda Shade. Hi, Miranda. Hello. Uh, how are you? I'm good. Tired. <laughs> Tired. I mean, I should I go into what I do with in therapy or just I, I, no I think I think that that says it all uh you're just hear about just your being tired is totally fine uh Miranda where can people find you online um bumble um, great uh seeking I just signed up for seeking but I'm not sure if it's actually an escort service <laughs> okay <laughs> because so. You because here's what it is. Side. Well, no, because here's what it is. You sign up and then when you go through the guys, they have to disclose how much money they have and how much they make per year. Wow. <laughs> and then, they, then they talk about things like arrangements. And I was like, I really, I thought it was like a real dating place, but now I'm like, I don't know. So there's that. No, and then I did, and then I did eHarmony, but I was kicked off because... I, they thought that I was catfishing myself because Wait, I, what? because I did an eHarmony commercial under my <laughs> a, acting name, but I used my legal name in my pictures. And then they said, you're not who you are. And I kept going, yes, I am. And then they were like, no, you're not. And then finally they just went, here's your money back. And I went, okay. Wow. <laughs> so that was, wow. Yeah. 
I no, honestly though, I did cry. I cried about it. <laughs> I cried because I thought that was going to be the only chance to meet an eligible bachelor. Little That's did where I know, the therapy comes in, right? Yes, yeah. we yes. we've all met our significant others on eHarmony. Yeah, <laughs> oh, all us, all yeah. everybody us knows my they use forty <laughs> categories of compatibility. Right. Yes. Uh, that so. Dr. Neil Clark Warren uh, warrants. So we all, not, we're all good. Who's not real because I did an eHarmony commercial <laughs> years ago. I don't know how many people recognize me because I was all over ESPN <laughs> for six years, paid every single time. I've been recognized by people and then it tells me a lot about them. <laughs> That's going to help your escorting. I think right. so too. Yeah, I think, right. space. yeah. I think that but seeking, they ought to, they ought to tap into you now and they just put you in their campaigns. Right. Well, I, they, and I had literally called them ahead of time or emailed them and said, I'm going to actually try it because you, they gave me a VIP pass for six months to be a VIP, but it was years ago. So I said, does it still work? And they went, no. And I went, oh, okay, well, can I, and they said, we'll give you 60% off. And I went, okay, I'll do it. Cause you know, <laughs> so I did it for two years. <laughs> because two everybody years. can be bought. That's the lesson. <laughs> That's the lesson that I learned. Everyone That's can it. be bought. Uh, these are the original <laughs> understudies uh, for today. And I'm so happy that y'all are here. We have a great suggestion that was emailed in to original understudies podcast at gmail.com just like you can if you would like to send us a suggestion or you can leave us a review on any of the relevant podcast review platforms such as apple Podcasts and all that hey we love that and uh, if we see one of those we might take a suggestion this one comes from marvin McHugh, aka kevin prado i don't know why we have to have two names but that's what that's where we're at and they write they're original and they're studying under there underwear underwear. Thank you. Thank you, Marvin McHugh. And then the suggestion is road trip. That's brought to you by too much alcohol. He says, PS, you're welcome. Also PSS. Thank you. We thank you, Marvin McHugh, AKA Kevin Prado, even though your too much alcohol only brought us to road trip. Uh, I feel <laughs> like that's very tame. I feel like you are, you're living a good, clean life, Marvin McHugh, if, if too much alcohol is bringing you road trip. So has anybody been on an, on an epic road trip? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. I did. I dr- oh, go no, go ahead. Oh, okay. No, I, I did um, 14 states in 14 days <gasps> and it cost $526, including gas and lodging split between two people. <laughs> was there a, like a reason behind it? Was there a purpose or were you just getting out there? Uh, it was with my cousin who was fairly certain he was going to be fired. So he said, I want to just see the United States with my vacation money and then do job interviews. So we would be staying in a tent that we borrowed in sleeping bags that we borrowed with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that we made. And he would then go to job interviews in between. And it was just, and one time they bought him lunch and he said, my cousin's in the car and they said, well, bring her. And and he said, no, no, she's fine. He made me, and I didn't even know. I sat in the car the whole time and then I made him a peanut butter sandwich. And then he got back and he went, I had peppercorn chicken. So I'm okay. (laughs) And that was, that was my road trip. What, like, where did you, what states was this? Like what region of the country? We started in Florida and then we went all the way down through New Orleans, through Texas. And we stopped at everything you could stop at. We stopped at the Jackson Square. We stopped at the, where uh, Lincoln or uh, not Lincoln, uh, Kennedy was shot. We stopped at the Hoover Dam, the Hoover Dam. We went everywhere. When we were at the Hoover Dam, we were supposed to go to Grand Canyon. I was in charge of driving and I drove for two hours the wrong direction and landed in California and he woke up and I was so scared because I, I had gone the wrong way. And he said, the biggest hole in the earth and you can't find it. And I was really embarrassed. And then we had to tell the guy from California driving in, he said, what's your destination? And I said, the Grand Canyon. <laughs> 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 Ma'am, you're, you're going the wrong way. And I said, I already, I already know that. So, did that he was, land any job interviews on the way? He did. He got one in Shreveport and one somewhere in 
New Mexico, I think, maybe Albuquerque. Okay. Yeah. Cool. What kind of jobs were these that he was interviewing for that he could just go, you know what, I'm just going to find a job in Shreveport or Albuquerque or whatever. What was he doing? Uh, marketing at a hospital. I think he was in charge of like marketing and that kind of thing. So I don't know anything about marketing, but apparently they needed it. I mean, I guess advertise like any sort of ad, like a hospital is probably like one of the least places you need advertising for because right. do you know what I mean? Like, it's like, right. well, no, where would I, I go if I yeah, was hurt? Where would I go? Right. Right. You're like, I, trying to my think leg. Of the I don't know. I think I'm going to go. <laughs> uh, what is Home Depot? Where's that jingle go again? Nine one one. They usually put the address in the jingle, and I just can't. I can't figure it out. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I hate road trips. This is not a very popular opinion, but I hate them. I, Why? I, yeah, I love them, but I did have a bad one where I got a, a kidney infection uh, and had to go into the emergency room in Oklahoma. Did you Thank research you the advertising on the hospital? I was going to say it wasn't marketed. Yeah, I hope it was marketed. Well. <laughs> yeah, where no, was, was it? Where did you go? It, I think it was in Oklahoma. It was on the way. I went from Minnesota to Texas, Texas back to Minnesota. Also not a great, uh, Were you like- not one of the most pretty road trips either. But yeah, on the way back, I got a, I got a, so it was like, it was just me and my friend driving and I was in so much pain in my, you're, when you have a kidney infection, your back hurts. So you can't sit against oh. the seat so oh. it's just like driving <laughs> for hours crunched up against the wheel and then we finally decided it i mean the it's what i get i, I went on this road trip to um to to hook up with somebody in texas oh, yeah. <laughs> did you know this person or were you just yes. gonna find yes. someone oh, okay. this was in college this <laughs> was in college that Bad. doesn't that doesn't clarify being in college doesn't clarify whether you know, knew this person or not. To, I'm just trying to say, like, said, this is a long time ago. Uh, it was all on seeking. The arrangements were made. Everything was fine. <laughs> it was all on the up made? and up. <laughs> Original understudies. All right, everybody. St. Luke's United Methodist Health System is kicking our ass. They have turned over so many bodies in the last quarter that we can't even compete. What is going on out there? We need to up our socials. Our what socials are, are definitely where it's at. I, You know what? I log on to Instagram every single day. I have not seen one post from St. Luke's United Methodist Health System. And that frankly disappoints me and makes me cry. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. We, we've got to go to where the people are. And the people are definitely on social media looking for help. Seth, Emergency aren't you help. our social guy? What's happening, Seth? What's, what's going on out there? Yeah, Seth. Oh uh, yeah, uh, a lot. Um, there's a, like a new dance trend uh, on TikTok where you go six, seven, eight. You turn it around, flip it down, and then you Seth, like. Okay. Yeah. Some of us would love to be young again. Yeah, like you. Right. And I'm kind of sad that this is all you're bringing to us. A dance. Seth, well, this, this is, this is a this hospital. Is, we stare death in the face every single day. Do you think we want to be reminded of your young vigor and your coordination uh, to do a dance? The answer is kind of. Yeah, I didn't yeah. want to say yeah. anything, but you know, Seth has over 3.4 million followers on his TikTok, whereas what? we only have 3,000 on our social media for which one the is, hospital. Which, I'm sorry. Listen, I'm kind of I'm kind of new to all this stuff. Which one is better? Uh, Wait, yeah, th you're the CFO. You don't understand which one's better. Three point four million or three thousand? I don't. I mean, I'm not. Listen, I don't know computers. Wait, let me let me just say something. Do you, do you know what the letters CF? O stand for? Of course I do. <laughs> okay. Corporate <laughs> fun organization. That's Wait, what we okay. all live in. That's not at all. We all, we're that's all That's not here. even. Okay. I, I want you to get your business card, Michael, get your business card. And I want you. Yes, I have it right here. You, yeah, you can, you can read, right? Because it's written on your your business oh, yeah. card, so just what are Michael, we doing I'm going to give here? you an opportunity. I'm going to give you an opportunity to read what CFO stands for. Listen, if on I your could, business card, Michael. I, 
I could read this for everybody and okay, everyone Michael, would be satisfied if we don't Michael, Michael, Michael you're holding you a map. It. You're yeah. holding a map. That's not even a business card. I okay, wanted to I want take a road to... trip. I suggested okay. a road okay. trip for everybody and I'm nobody sorry, wanted Michael, to do it. Michael, I want you to pick up your business card. You know what a business card is, right, Michael? Sorry, Michael, just... pick up. Okay, that's a coaster. Hey, Michael. Who's on trial hey, here? Hold on a hey. Okay. Is, mm-hmm. is that a patient tag on your wrist, Michael? Now, I mean, uh, you got to try it, right? What kind of hypocrite would I be oh, if I didn't? Are you the escaped patient from three months ago? We could never find. Oh. <laughs> it's right. when you oh started, God. pretty Wait harsh you know word. What? It's this all making sense Grand, now. Uh, I'm going to say this is on me because I actually hired Michael. Uh, I should have okay. known when he came in with a gown and the back was open. That's all right. In, in any case, our socials are still pretty poor. That's true. I, he does he have a, a point. point. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. They're crushing mm-hmm. us out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've mm-hmm. been recording this whole conversation, posted it. It's at 4 million views. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. 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 Is that good? <laughs> Original on this one is. All right. Well, thank you for coming to this job interview, David. Uh, I appreciate that you're very interested in this job. I want you to just tell me what are some of the things specifically that you're looking for in uh, being a security guard? <clears throat> oh, I just connection, immediate connection to people. Um, that's, I think, you know, that's one of my biggest strengths, I think, is just connecting to people. Okay. Um, we're we're going to, we're going to want you to keep you know, interacting with people down to a minimum. So I'm not sure if this is actually completely you know, understood. I, okay. 100% understood. Now, right, listen, so, I have a head, I can fall into people's eyes occasionally. And that's something that I know is a weakness of mine mm-hmm. is that I just can kind of just pour myself into someone else's eyes. Oh, okay. so uh, again, that's, t- it's a little akin to the, um, creating a connection. And as mm. a security guard, we're, mm. uh, not wanting you to actually have a connection. We want you to safeguard the bank. Uh, we're wanting you to not actually connect with anyone. <clears throat> mm, I see. So if I'm hearing you correctly, I am not to fall in love with anyone on premises. Original understudies. Uh, welcome to California. Do you have any fruits or vegetables to uh, declare? Yeah. Yeah. I have, um, I have half an apple and, um, I have some edamame. Uh, ma'am, uh, I'm afraid we, I'm afraid we can't allow you to come into California with half an, is that an Arizona apple? Uh, because we're going to have to, we're going to have to confiscate that. I'm sorry. That's, that's why would you do that to me? What is your destination, ma'am? Where are you going? Um, the Philippines. (laughs) So I'm driving to the Philippines. Okay. So you're going to head. Well, I mean, California is technically on the way. Yeah. Um, I just need, um, I need nourishment to get me there. Or this is, this is, this is my, um, this is on my bucket list to drive to the Philippines and you're blocking that. You got one of those jet boats. Um, yeah, I have a jet boat. It's in the back seat. It's a tiny one. It's a tiny jet boat. Listen, uh, come here. I don't normally do this, but. I've been looking for one of these jet boats and, uh, I will, I will, I will let you through if you allow me onto your jet boat. We're going, this is happening. We're, we're going to the Philippines. I mean, this has never, I, this has never happened to me. I've never, I've no. Okay. I've always, I've dreamed about this. This connection is crazy. Original understudies. All right, everybody get down on the ground. Hey, you there. Toss your gun over here, security <laughs> officer. Hey, listen. Hey, listen, man. Listen, you can't. Hey. Hi. Oh, my God. What's uh, happening? Uh, this is, well, wow, your eyes, they're, they're so blue. You're falling in love. This is Beautiful. awkward. Uh, this has never happened to me before. Do I still need to, to be locked before. down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay on the ground. You stay on the ground. Okay, okay. okay. You, can I... you, though, can, you, can uh, we... you, you purse your lips. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. Can I be on my back? Cause I just got breast implants. <laughs> well, uh, 
Yeah, okay, yeah, you can be on your back. <laughs> Thank you, it's just very uncomfortable lying on You're my You're kind of ruining our uh, <laughs> our meet you right here, all right, lady? It's, it's not ruining me. I'm just kind of me. making it about you right now, and I just stop, need to... Stop, stop ruining for me. It's I'm good. A, okay. Should... Hey, what? You want to get out of here? I mean, I don't have like a... I don't have a, a plan after I get this money, but... Freeze! Yeah, Police. Uh, oh. uh, okay, get on, get on the ground. Oh, get oh, on the ground. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm putting my gun down. It's just relax. Here we go. Uh, here. Do we still have to be on the ground? Yeah. Can I get up? Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Does everyone have to be on the ground, or is it just me now on the ground? Officer, this lady what over here has newly implanted breasts and she doesn't want to be on her face. She wants to be on her back. I think standing is also an option. You know, when you talk, you sound very smooth with your voice. It's very smooth. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is, uh, I don't know what well, like, well, it is. This is you know? pretty crazy. pretty crazy. <laughs> Wow. The man of the law. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, how about the three of us just like get out of here, huh? Um, I've got a I've got a rocket boat. Um, what in my, in my car right get now? So the three here. of you want to go grab what? Just I don't know. We could head out onto the water, and I've always I've always wanted a rocket boat. Original on the studies. Oh, um, I I forgot. We had plans to eat lunch together. I just had a filet mignon. I appreciate the the salad, um, but I'm I'm good. Oh, I mean, this is our this is the salad. <laughs> you know, it's Tuesday. It's our salad day. We always have salads together yeah. at this time, like every Tuesday. Yeah, Kyle. Um, I just I I forgot, and there was this filet mignon, and um, I was really hungry for um, for steak, and that's why I ate that steak. And um, um, the restaurant I was at said um, we have a two for two for one deal. We could give you a second steak, and I said, "Oh, so you got I'm me a good. steak." Oh, you didn't. You said you were good. Yeah, I said I'm good because I only wanted the one steak, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, if I'm being honest, it doesn't make sense. Um, because, you know, <laughs> like we always say, like literally every week when we eat salads, we go two salads is better than one. That's like a thing that we say together. Yeah, so yeah. if someone was like, here's two steaks and you were like, I only want the one. I don't know how that could make sense. Oh, I see where we're missing each other. It sounds to me like you think steak and salad are the same thing. Okay. No, that's not what I think. What I think is that this is a betrayal on levels of which I've never experienced. Okay. That's what I'm thinking right now. Okay. Okay. Well, what am I going to do with these huge salads? I made two huge salads and I'm not going to be able to finish both of them. So one of them is just garbage now. Maybe we could take this as an opportunity for you to reach out and make more salad friends. We have talked about this before. Oh, this conversation again. More salad friends. Okay, that's your solution to everything, okay? Last week when I put blue cheese crumbles on the salad and you said you didn't like blue cheese crumbles, what was your answer? You should find more, you salad, more salad friends. salad friends. Oh, yeah, okay. <sighs> it's time. It's time, Kyle. It's time. Who offered you this steak? Can I ask? Hmm? Um, Where did you happen upon a free steak, huh? Okay. Was it Chad? Did Chad offer you a steak? And what if he did? Oh, <laughs> I knew it. Original on the studies. So I, I like road trips. I took a road, I take a road trip. I try to do one every year from California to Texas and then back again. 
and that's usually fun. There's just, you know, there's nothing on the way is the problem. Like you, you hit like basically a bunch of desert and I don't know. Are y'all desert people? Some people are like mm. real desert people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes. I love it. No. Okay. What do you like about the desert? I love that. That's exactly what the desert <laughs> sounds like. Nothing. <laughs> because I, I know what I'm going to say and everybody's going to go, oh, but I love, I've been to Death Valley when it was 132. I mm -hmm. drove out there because it was 132. I just love it being hot. But Ooh. I have a tiny dog that I take with me. <laughs> And she, and she doesn't she love does, it. Well, yeah. But I like the fact that when dogs are really hot, they go and they look like they're smiling. So. Torture your dog. In my head. Oh, she's she's happy. Happy. In I, my head. She's I, happy. I, like, I like spending time in the desert every once in a while. Like I camp out there every once in a while. It's really nice because like, you know, the stars are really pretty and it's, and it's, nice to have like the quiet but it's not like uh it's not like a i i prefer the woods or the beach you know more mm. you know i prefer a city to everything <laughs> I, I keep thinking that'll change as i get older but i keep getting older and it keeps not changing <laughs> do you like to be close to like uh, facilities and hospitals and things like that is that, <laughs> yeah, is that, is that kind of your thinking it's just like i, I want to be where the Shit buildings are <laughs> because I have a little bit of that. I like going out the desert, but every once in a while, I think like, man, it would take me a long time to get to a hospital oh, from here. If something happened. It's I've actually will, never had that thought, but I, I love will, it. I, can I do. Ruin I do that vacations. too. There are yeah. times when I go, oh, I could just live in this forest, and then I'm like, oh yeah, but then I'm in this forest, you know. And mm. yeah, I do think. That, I mean, not so much in the desert because, to be honest, there's medevac, so. You know, but in the forest, are you trying to think, ruin my anxiety? Right, but no, but no. You're trying to I'm just try present I'm logic. I'm trying to change my identity fun. away. I'm also, gonna, are you no, are you I'm just putting a lot? Changing your anxiety, it should be. You're, for you're putting a lot of responsibility on medevac to be like this magical solution that's going to get you out of a situation. Yeah. When, what um, happens? What happens yeah. if they both both of the pilots get knocked out? Okay. <laughs> You have earned your anxiety back. Uh, where, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Usually in a medevac, I think there's just one pilot, but I see your point. Even um, worse. Well, <laughs> you know, when uh, when I moved to LA uh, after college, you know, name me dropper. My, <laughs> 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 well, it works that way. <laughs> okay, sorry. I take it back. <laughs> uh, let me pick up that name. College. Um, <laughs> I, um, when I, when I moved out here, me and my brother, we decided to, to drive, uh, and we were trying to save money. So we were stopping at like KOA campsites and stuff along the way. And I remember we, it was starting to get dark one day and we were like, Oh, look, Albuquerque. Um, that's from all the Bugs Bunny cartoons. Uh, you know, cause Bugs Bunny would always be like, Oh, I knew I should have taken a left at Albuquerque. Like it was like the beginning of all, he like, he would get up, he'd be lost and he'd be like, ah, oh, I should have taken a left at Albuquerque. And so we were like, that'll be fun. Let's, let's stay at this KOA in Albuquerque. And it was the most terrifying place uh, I'd ever been. It was like, obviously some sort of like, uh, you know, drug dependency had gripped the, the, the neighborhood that we were staying at because it was like, it was like an episode of the walking dead. There's just sort of like these just shambling people <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> we were like very much like it was way too late to like kind of pack up and we were like, oh, okay, I guess we'll just sort of sleep in shifts tonight. <laughs> <laughs> do, now, do we have to say that your opinion does not reflect the opinion of original understudies so that, you know, I don't like think people anybody. From I, Albuquerque I, might be upset when they hear you say that. I wasn't like I, I'm not saying the entire population <laughs> of Albuquerque was out on the streets using drugs. <laughs> or, or, or there was or definitely <laughs> or a lot of people out there. <laughs> or we live this well-known podcast advertiser KOA. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know the campsite 
campsite was it was pretty I- I- idyllic. Actually, it was a pretty nice campsite. So the KOA was 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 okay. KOA was nice. The surrounding yeah. drugs were not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to take a second to complain quickly. Yeah, please complain. <laughs> um, uh, about New Mexico's road care in the winter. <laughs> uh. I had to drive through New Mexico during a snowstorm. Snowstorm. You know what I'm saying. And uh, I, it was, I was white knuckling the whole time we get to the Arizona border and my husband and I switch places and he's like, I'll take it from here. And we crossed the border and the roads were completely fine. On the other oh, side. Wow. Oh my wow. God. Wow. It was like night and day. And so that and he was I like, would this stand is pretty, by. This is pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you were complaining yeah. about. This is the easiest snowstorm I've ever snored through. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you got your, uh, this is where you set up your cook fire and, uh, this is where you pitch your own tent and I hope you bought your water supply because you can't drink out the creek. So make sure that you're all set with all that. Yeah. Well, I brought this tiny little Nalgene and, um, a, a very slow moving pump that where I stick it in the creek and you know, it it purifies the water. I'll be fine. <laughs> you say you've been traveling all by yourself? Yes. Yes, I have. I'm going through, I just, I got fired from a job and I've been kind of, well, I, I technically haven't been fired yet. They're trying to call me uh, oh, to fire me, but um, I've been kind of running, outrunning them, you know, like just yeah. traveling You're trying the to use all your vacation before yes. you, I yes. understand. Yes, yes. You're and on never done yourself it. a journey of self-reflection. Oh my gosh, you get me. Well, I've seen you before, not you specifically, but I've seen many like you. Oh, what did they do? What did they, how did they get over, how, you know, getting fired? Being lost. Everybody who's come out here has been fired. I haven't talked to a single soul who's been out here who's gainfully employed. And, (laughs) you know, they all have the same thing in common. A lot of debt. I, I was going to say an unfulfilled soul, but also a lot of debt. Yes. Yes, that too. Psychic debt. Psychic debt. I have psychic debt and psychic a lot of debt. debt. And actual debt sometimes. That's, That's right. Um, I, I just appreciate it's so like, you know, meeting strangers on the road. It can be weird and you seem so normal. It's well, just... listen, ma'am, I live on a plateau and out in the oh. desert. So you can't really call it all that normal, can you? However, I will say, you have not met a stranger. You have just met a friend you did not know that you had. Oh my gosh, you're so full of wisdom too. Can I stay here? I'm gonna, we had an old bathroom words of wisdom book and that's where I get most of these that I say. So, Will you bring this to me? Yes. I can't leave this campsite until I have this wisdom. Yeah. I just, just, there's something about this space and you and everything here and my mental state. It's over there in that, it's in that Andy Gump, uh, porta potty over there that I have. Andy Gump makes the best dump things. Wow. (laughs) That's his, he, it's a, you know, a jingle. Were you in marketing? (sighs) Yes. Well, that's what I'm getting fired from, but. Well, if I if I may say so, original understudies. <laughs> yeah, babe, um, we can't drive any closer to the volcano. We're we're on the lip of it. Okay, like we can't. Get... I'm not finding any satisfaction out of this. It's so hot where we are I right I now. Underst- I understand, and trust me, Jeff. I. I want more than anything to really have this moment, but I'm just not feeling it. I just look. I said I'd propose to you on a volcano, not okay. inside of a volcano. Like, okay. I, uh, well, I'm I'm sorry. It's just I need romance, Jeff. I just I I just need romance. This is romantic, uh, except for the yelling. Like mm-hmm. it's romantic. We're the. The setting is romantic. Mm-hmm. I'm genuinely afraid if I take another step closer, I'm going to die. Like, I'm afraid for my life. Okay. Okay, Jeff. I don't, 
I don't want you to enter into a marriage where you feel like it's either this or die. Okay? We can take a step back. Okay. I noticed that as you're saying we can take a step back, you are uh, stepping backwards I'm, towards I, the volcano. I know. I know. Yeah, I turned this okay. around as we were speaking. I thought maybe you wouldn't yeah. notice. No, I see that. Look, it's, Jeff, yeah, I yeah, just, it's getting hotter. I Every step it. was hotter. Okay. You know stop what? Stop pulling I, me into the volcano. Please stop pulling me towards the volcano. Pulling. It's not pulling okay. if you follow. If you follow me, that's not by definition pulling. Oh, oh my God. My shoes are melting. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't. Oh, f- f- my feet. Original Understudies. Medevac Dispatch, we've got two individuals up on top of the volcano. Uh, if we could just uh, get ourselves a heli bird up there pretty quick, that'd be all right. I'm not doing it. There's two of us in here today. There's two pilots. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. There's two pilots up there? Say hi, Al. Hey. <laughs> wow. That's What are you on, a training run or what's what's happening up there? We weren't doing nothing weird. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> okay. That's the second you say you weren't doing anything weird, I immediately, my mind immediately goes to weird places. So were you doing? Well, were that's you on you. Oh, okay. You Were you doing weird things? There's Shannon. no balloons involved. Whoa. Yeah, see, nobody mentioned balloons before now. That's because so there's none involved. I see. But like, you wouldn't say just like, ah, there's not any elephants here if there wasn't an elephant there. And that's Okay. Well, we're just two pilots piloting. <laughs> okay, well, listen, can you make your way to the volcano? Because, listen, I'm pretty sure those people are incinerated and dead. But if not, if by some miracle they're not, then they need a helicopter to get out of there because I don't think their rented Kia is going to make it back down the mountain. I mean, I'm going to have to put my shoes back on. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I've got to get rid of all this all of these, um, all this foam. <laughs> what is you're airborne right now, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we are. Yeah. yeah, okay. And your shoes aren't on, yeah. not one of them. No, <laughs> wait, you, so you have one shoe on, and the whole place is full of foam. What is happening? You, no, nothing, there, just nothing, nothing weird. It's fine, nothing weird's going on. Yeah, you said that, but I. Listen, I'm not your boss. I'm just dispatch. I just want to make sure that everything's okay and that the thing is still airworthy. Is it able to fly and are you able to get to the mountain? 100%. Sure. 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 Yeah. 100%. Why not? Why not? We're going to get out there. Yeah, please. I would like you to get out there. I mean, these people want need to probably be rescued. So I just got to get this gum off my arms. Covered in gum. Yeah, I think you should probably get the gum off your arms. Um, okay. All right. I got one shoe on. We're almost ready to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Listen, well, I, you know, if you have any trouble, you can just make sure to radio me or whatever. One bit of trouble is that the gum is sticking to the foam. Mm. But we can still, I'm sure we can get to the mountain. You've got the first aid kit in there, right? There's a first aid kit usually in the back. If you can get to that, <clears throat> then there's. It's missing the scissors. Because I gave myself a bowl haircut, and I don't, I can't find the scissors anymore. Okay, all right. Yeah, I don't know what you two have been doing up in that helicopter, but <laughs> nothing, nothing weird. Weird. it's all normal it's stuff. These all sound like fireable offenses, and I don't even know what the handbook says about some of this stuff. So, I bet the handbook would say nothing about any of the stuff we're talking about. Would not mention it. Would not mention it. That I'm pretty certain of. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the handbook doesn't mention foam or gum on the arm or anything like that. Mm-mm. Pretty sure it does. There's no mention of it. But it, I don't know. It's got to violate some rule somewhere, somehow. Don't you agree? Just... To no. me, it's, it's more about saving. It's more about saving, saving lives. Than, lives, just saving lives, just saving lives. Yeah. Okay. Almost, Almost got my other shoe on. We're so we're getting close. there. We're getting there. Tying a lace. Listen, when this helicopter, when you bring this helicopter back, do you even have room for people? Could you even? Are they going to come in and when you rescue people, if they're there, even if they're there, are they going to be met with like a whole? weird party copter full of foam and gum and all kinds of whatnot. Original Understudies. All right. So, uh, look, uh, PR for Albuquerque. It's not great at the moment, guys. So, uh, you gotta try to 
turn this around. All right. So what do we got? What do we got for the tourism boards breathing down my neck and they want us to start a campaign to get people to come to Albuquerque. So Mm. what do we got? Um, Uh, you, um, you took a right turn to Albuquerque. Okay. Mm. That's good. That's good. Maybe we could get the Warner Brothers on the line, see if we could get... Al- Albuquerque rhymes with turkey. Mm. Mm. Okay. The country a, and the bird. I had a variation on that. It was Albuquerque. I don't even know her. You know, mm. it's like a, it's like the, the liquor, uh, I don't even know her. Only it's I like Albuquerque. It. <laughs> I don't even know her. I like that. Like I don't that. see how it's a variation on the previous one, but I like it. It's still, yeah, it's, it's like, it's exactly all the same words, but without well, Albuquerque. Talking, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 She right. was talking about, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 exactly. All right. Um, did you guys come up with anything beyond a series of slogans? Uh, maybe something to I, I have, actually, I, a, you know, a, a festival or, a, yeah. I have maybe it's, it's like more of an image. Okay. Um, it came to me the other weekend when I was participating in a Native American ceremony in a hot, Ooh. hot sauna. Ooh. And, okay. um, watch it. It's, um, <laughs> there are lots of colors, bright colors that, um, spell out Albuquerque and, um, we've got some mountains and some, um, Are you okay? Here. Lost souls escaping the mountains, and um, I'm, draw- I'm drawing this with procreate as you as you talk. And I'm gonna okay, good. keep going. Good. And um, maybe there's like a snowplow that goes through the middle of the road. Um, I just and that's it. That's all. Wow. I'm gonna have to go back um, for more, but I think it's just kind of like a vision. You know, we can just like it's just a vision. Mm. Victoria, I drew it on Procreate. Is this any anything oh, like good. what you were talking that's about? Exactly that looks that great. That's exactly great. Can we use that? That is it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I drew this. You said mountain, but I really drew more of a steep. I, I drew more of a steep. Yeah. So I'm yeah, not sure like that, that was. Yeah. Okay. That's it's great. like you're in my head. I yeah. I just think um, we're more Thank of a vibe you. than we are. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. Albuquerque, more of a vibe. Well, Words. that's a slogan, but yeah. I uh, I feel like I shouldn't have hired my immediate family to be PR for my mm. firm. I feel like it was a mistake mm-hmm. to hire, mm. you know, my my mm. mother and father and uh, my sister. Okay, I'm not it, even getting paid. So, were, I, was everybody uh, else hired? Uh, okay. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks All a right. lot. I was paid in Okay. I was paid in mushrooms. <laughs> Sorry, mom. I didn't I, I'm not trying to start any fights here. I'm just, um, just, just, it's dawning on me. Is we all. are so, going to have a good Thanksgiving this year, and it doesn't yeah. matter if Albuquerque is involved or not. Is that understood, young man? Yes, sir. Yes, it is. Good. I'm pretty sure at Thanksgiving we'll be having turkey, which rhymes with Albuquerque. Original understudies. Do you have Thanksgiving traditions? I don't want to holidayize holiday eyes the show, but are there anything that you do specifically on Thanksgiving? But you Thanksgiving? know what's really funny is that I every Thanksgiving, my mom like hijacks the dinner for a minute to be like, all right, we're all going to go around the table and say what we're thankful for. And it's like every year, everyone is like, we don't want to do this. <laughs> Like, this is a disaster. Why are you trying to man? She like really strong arms everybody into doing it. No, I want to know. Yeah, it's just sort of this thing where we kind of like it, everyone just turns it into a big joke and like it, no one's serious. But she's always like, I'll start it off. And she's like really genuine and serious. Everyone's like, okay, well, I hope my farts don't smell so bad this year, you know? And, it's like, you know, like, and we all hate it. It's like the most awkward thing ever and she just every year she's like okay well it's that time you know? and they're like no I think she's like <laughs> desperate for like a tradition in her life or something oh I hate when you have to do it at someone else's oh, Thanksgiving so it's like someone else's family because you can't even make fun of it right like so you have to like 
take it as like, earnestly as you're like waiting person. for somebody to make a joke so that then <laughs> yes. you can just hop on to a joke. Yeah. Yeah. But otherwise you have to be earnest, but like not too earnest. Cause if you overshare or if you're like, not that it's a weird place to be, to be like the, you know, the odd I think, I think you're right. Else's. I mean, I think that Thanksgiving it just in general at someone else's house is so weird because <gasps> the food, I, I, I mean, I'm just worried that they're going to put like weird nuts and stuff. And I, I don't have a nut allergy, but it's just like, I want to know, I want to be familiar with the textures that I expect in the foods that I'm eating. And I don't think that's too much to ask on Thanksgiving. Yeah. What's a weird nut to you? <laughs> Pine. I don't know so why. You must not like pesto why then. Is this pie nut in, in this marshmallow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does feel I, like I, mean, I think your your crapshoot is really stuffing. That's yeah. where it's that's where it just becomes a I don't know what your family does with stuffing. <laughs> I think that this isn't like a thing so much for, for people our age, but there's definitely like, you know, our parents and stuff there. It did feel like there was like a, a necessity to, yeah, like create recipes for Thanksgiving. It's like, oh, it's grandma's stuffing right. or it's like, oh, my right. famous yams. And it is, yeah. Right. People do and you have like, to worry when yeah, grandma like, started, what? like when she started to write the re- the recipe, like was she in the demented state? Because I know right. my grandma had a great <laughs> Rocky Road, but somehow it like morphed with time where it was like, it had pine nuts. <laughs> That's where it comes from. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What even yeah. is a pine nut? I mean, uh, I know that I, I've had them. Yeah, they're like nuts. So they're just, small nuts. But they're like they're, little, right? Yeah, yeah, they're almost like a very tiny almond. But <laughs> allergy wise, they're not actually nuts. Oh. Like if you have a nut what? allergy, you probably are not allergic to Are you going to pull the legume card? <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> is that what we're gonna do? I don't know. I just know it's on a pine nut. Yeah, they make it's what's in pesto. Uh, table thirty three has a nut allergy, so they 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 sent this back. So, but uh, it's a pine nut. Yeah, well, it's okay. Nuts in the name, so like I don't know if I have oh. like. Should I go back out there or? So what do you it's want psychosomatic. Me to do? It's psychosomatic. They know it's a pine nut. It's not actually a nut. I think we put. I think we push them. We push them to the next fucking level. Okay. I mean. Okay. Listen. Push back. I'm willing. Our Yelp reviews are in the trash. So at this point, it kind of doesn't matter. Let me go yeah. take it back. I'll take it back to them. I'll take push it back. back. To them. Yes. Uh, I'm. I'm sorry. We I can't. See your back. Do, we can't. Mm-hmm. We can't remake this. I'm sorry. Um, we can't remake this. You you can't remake this or you won't remake this because these are two different, um, I don't know, auxiliary verbs. I'm not a, I'm not a gra- grammatician, but you can't make Obviously. it or you won't make it. I'm uh, sorry. We won't. We won't make it. You can just have mine. I'll just eat yours. No, honey. no. Um, you know what? It's the point now. All right. Okay. I know. I know, Bernard, that I said I wasn't going to make a scene. But an allergy is an allergy. Yeah. Mommy, well, it's my birthday. Yeah. Just, oh, okay. All right. Just, you, you ordered the pine nut. Right. Nutteria pasta. Right. Right. And yes. That's yes. kind of the thing. We are famous for our nutteria pasta. And uh-huh. this is the pine nut nutteria right. pasta. Right. So to make it without pine nuts is almost like, mm-hmm. what are you even doing? Uh, you're trying to make sure that my face doesn't swell, okay? Please that I'm no. not going to have to be medevaced out of this this restaurant right near a volcano, okay? I'm just looking out for you. Listen, that's why those pine nuts are so luscious from the volcanic soil. They grow, and they because these are these are bigger pine nuts than what you okay, would get you, normally. Did you call them luscious? I'm yes. Sorry, did you? They're- L- yes. Luscious, as in that's how they taste, or that's how they look. Because, sir, if you have some kind of a pine nut fetish, I take offense. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. what if that's just who I am? Okay. What? Just like it's who you are to be allergic to nuts and then to order nuttery pasta. This is uh, who I am. Okay. I love luscious, big, thick nuts. Okay. That's <laughs> what I love. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Me too. 
I love thank you. you. Thank you. Yes, Wait a minute. thank you. No, There's I am not going to get a slow clap applause. in this restaurant. There is not going to be a slow clap that is going to accelerate. There's a slow clap for luscious no. nuts. Luscious <laughs> nuts. Original on the studies. Okay, um, let's let's all hold hands and say grace. And Billy, would you please take it seriously? Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> okay. Dear Heavenly Bitch. Okay. I do not right. I can't, I can't. I, I really can't. <laughs> Well, do you think God is going to be happy when he finds out that you called him a heavenly bitch? Hmm? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I believe, you know. <gasps> Honey. I, I just, what? I have shoved the Bible down your throat since you were a little child. How do, can you tell me you don't know what you believe? I have literally crammed those verses into your face. How could you tell me you don't believe? I mean, there's just a lot. You oh, used to cry. Them. You'd scream and cry at me when I would make you read. I'd make you read till your fingers bled. You're telling me you don't believe? Um, Karen, I- I'm going to play de- devil's advocate here. And perhaps... <gasps> the shoving- devil's advocate? Yeah, it, 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 I, I, I feel an obligation to tell you that perhaps shoving a Bible down one's throat making someone read until their fingers bleed is going to make them question. Wow. Well, that's pretty good advice from the devil's advocate, isn't I'm it? Playing, mm. I'm playing. I'm playing. You're playing. The, you're playing. I'm playing yeah, so, the devil. So, then, so if you're playing the devil's advocate, then you're saying that that's what the devil thinks. Hmm? That's what I'm you're saying telling me. that this is, this is a message from the advocate. I'm going to go get, to you. I'm going to go get, the the torture box. I'll be right back. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But wait, don't get the torture box. We're having a really great dinner. Okay. Can we just eat the food? So then say grace and say it like you mean it. Do you have any bitch? i thankful for... What? What was the what, beginning what, of that? What? What did you say? I said, dear heavenly farter, uh, <laughs> I thank you for this food we have on the table. Wait, did you say, dear heavenly what? father? Or, yeah. Yeah, I said that, yeah. You said that? What did what? It just, yeah. <laughs> it sounded like you said, dear heavenly farter. <laughs> Why would I say that? That's I don't crazy. know. You're right. You wouldn't. That would be crazy. Continue. Thank you for listening to another episode of Original Understudies. This episode wouldn't be possible without our mastering engineer, Toivo Khalil. We were so lucky to have these following cast members for our show today. Kevin Prado, Paul Hatton, Aaron Martin, Mike Del Rosso, Nicholas Ramirez, Sean Warmoth, and Will Morris. And as promised, when there's a review, I'm going to read it out loud. This one is a five-star review titled Gene Heaney's Accents. If this podcast doesn't make you laugh within the first 12 seconds, then James Heaney will come to your home and hand deliver an original personalized apology and a crisp $100 bill. That's not true. Trust me, I'm a lawyer. Seriously, though, this podcast isn't great, but just... But James is such a nice guy that I'm convinced he might be Jesus. So I listened anyway. What the hell's going on here? Okay, okay, enough jokes. This podcast is great. It is funny and thought-provoking, and I enjoy every minute of it. Give it a listen. And if you can afford it, please consider checking out the Patreon for bonus content. Love you, James. Swan Trizzle. Suggestion. Could you guys do a scene where James Heaney plays himself at... Just kidding, James. How about High School Reunion? Alchemy that. 
Wow. Uh, well, that was a wonderful. That was a wonderful review. I should probably read through these. Uh, this this is my opportunity to practice cold reading. So, what an awesome review! Please send us a review. And and this did mention that we have a Patreon. Go to patreon.com and. I think it's slash original understudies. Uh, you'll have access to our live recordings as they happen in, in our Discord server. And additionally, all of the videos of our recordings are on the Patreon for you to watch if you couldn't make it to the actual recording. Catch you next time. Original understudies. <laughs> <laughs>